Hello YouTube, thanks for watching this comparison and review of the ND filters from both Freewell and Start RC, both of which can be purchased on Amazon. Links to purchase all items and gear to film are in the description below. Let's go ahead and start with the Freewell ND filters. Comes with an NA, ND8, ND16, ND32, and ND64 filter. And there they are. Video tutorials, stickers, cleaning cloth. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and see how they fit on the drone itself can't read what is on the label here. So it looks like each filter is labeled ND8, ND16, ND32, and ND64. Let's go ahead and put the ND8 on. Wow, it's tiny. A lot smaller than I had thought it was going to be. It was all like that. Three minutes and 22 seconds later. Do I have it on backwards? I mean, I feel like it should snap into place, yeah? Oh yeah, look at that. So I think I did have it on backwards. So when we look at this, there's a little tab here. There's a tiny little tab right there. And when we look inside the drone, there's a little notch here where that tab probably sits. So I've been putting, trying to stick it in there all wrong. So this goes like that. And I guess you just press it into place. You heard it click. All right, and to take it off, Pop it off like that. I've had good experience with Freewell. I have Freewell ND filters for my DJI FPV drone. What are we looking for in an ND filter? That it will stay on the drone. For that one, I think it would stay on the drone in the event of a crash. Start RC filters come in a four pack. Nice carrying case as well. I've got ND8, ND16, and ND32, and ND64 filters. Box is a lot smaller in comparison to the Freewells. And they look like the same attachment mechanism to the drone where it's got tabs that fit into the notches on the camera housing itself. So, all right, I guess the next the next thing to do is just take it outside and fly and see how they compare. Do a flight comparison without the ND filter, with the Freewell ND filter, and with the Start RC ND filter. So, I'm charging up some batteries and I'll get outside in just a moment. The first flight that I'll do is with no ND filter. Start time of day is about 10 a.m. in November. This is important to know because the sun is not as harsh as it would be in the middle of the day in summer months. The snail trail map on the bottom right will be shown on this first flight only. Every flight with each ND filter will follow the same path. From home point, east down the creek, U-turn, west up the creek, another U-turn, back east towards the sun, and then I'll follow the edge of the creek through the trees and back to the landing pad. I'll conduct a quick change of ND filters and get airborne again as soon as possible in order to get the same amount of sun exposure for each filter. I will also conduct a no ND filter flight between the ND16 and ND32 filters, and again after the ND64 filters to confirm that the sun's position did not change much over a 15 minute period of testing. At the end of all of the flying, all of the filters, and after the last individual video, you will see a combination of all four videos in one clip for a side-by-side -side comparison. First it will be a comparison of the no ND filters flights, then each Freewell filter, followed by the Start RC filters, and then a comparison between the Freewell and Start RC ND8, ND16, ND32, and ND64 filters. For most drone pilots flying the DJI Aveda, we just want to fly and share that flight with others on YouTube, Facebook, or wherever. Sometimes you may not want to put a lot of effort into editing the video, but you still want to share a high quality video. A neutral density filter can help provide that cinematic motion blur that we are used to seeing in movies. A neutral density filter, ND filter, on our camera lens will make the image capture less harsh, sharp, or jerky especially in the pure sunlight in the middle of the summer. Basically, an ND filter is like having sunglasses for your camera. The purpose of the ND filter is to reduce the amount of light entering the camera through its lens. Neutral also means that there is no effect on the color of the image. The values attached to the ND filter refer to the amount of light that is diminished. For example, an ND2 filter halves the light entering the camera. 
ND4 means one fourth of the light enters the camera lens and will be slightly darker. ND8 means one eighth and so on. As the number increases, the amount of light entering the camera decreases and will therefore provide a slightly darker image. I'm going to pause from speaking for now and we'll get back on the microphone to talk about the actual comparisons.
And I'm back. I hope that you enjoyed the individual test flights of each filter. We will now compare and analyze each flight starting with the no ND filters, free wheel filters, start RC filters, and then head to head of the ND8, ND16, ND32, and ND60 filters of each brand. As you can see in the clip of the three flights with no ND filter, the sun's brightness is still about the same over a 15 minute period. If anything, it may have gotten brighter, but it is not evident in this comparison. To reiterate a few things, ND filters are like sunglasses for your camera lens. The higher the number, the stronger the ND filter meaning a darker video. The purpose of the ND filter is to provide the cinematic motion blur that we are used to seeing in Hollywood movies and films. The key to this first is to ensure that your video settings are set up in your drone's camera to capture motion blur. This is done with a 180 degree rule, meaning that if you are recording video at 60 frames per second, your shutter speed should be set to double that number, so in this case, 1 over 120. For this video, I kept my ISO at auto, which is fine for now. There may be a time in the future when you may want to fix your ISO. Let's look at all four Freewheel ND filters now. What can you see between each filter? As we make our first U-turn and head up the creek without a paddle, we fly over the tall grass in the sun. Examine that grass. Can you see a difference in blurriness between all four filters? The video of the ND8 filter looks really crisp and clear, almost like we're flying without an ND filter. It is a very high quality video capture, however, it's not natural to the eye from a viewing perspective. Compare that to the other ND filters, and you can see that as the ND filter number increases, the blur of the grass increases. Take a look at the color of the sky. It gets a little darker with the higher numbered ND filters. What's really interesting though is that the sunbeams look clearer to me with the ND64 and less blurry. How about the reflection of the trees in the water? Have we achieved cinematic motion blur with the freewheel filters? Let's consider that same question with the Star Technologies RC filters. That's what Start RC stands for, Star Technologies. Again, examine the grass and reflections in the water. How blurry do they look? Can you see a light difference in the sky? The color should not have changed, but it will be slightly darker. What about the sun? The sun should have darkened slightly and the sunbeams a little clearer. As we start to bring it back home, making our left turn south through the trees and into the shadows of the yard. How clear do the twigs and branches look to you? Do you think that if you're gonna fly fast through stuff like that, that motion blur is important? On some other test videos that I've done prior to this video, I slowed down significantly as I flew fast near some branches that I knew were there because they became harder to see with the ND32 and more so with the ND64 filters. Have we achieved cinematic motion blur with the Start RC filters? The next two clips are a filter to filter comparison between the ND filters of Freewell filters on the left and the StarTech filters on the right. This clip shows ND8s on top and ND16s on the bottom. The next clip will have the ND32s on top and ND64s on the bottom. After that, I'll include my thoughts and takeaways. Until then, take note of your observations and share them in the comments.
So which is a better filter? Well, between the Freewell and the Star Technologies RC filters, they look exactly the same to me, just a different label on them. I could not see a difference. They are of equal quality and equal ND filteringness. Basically, they're equal to me. If you can find a difference between the two, go ahead and put that in the comments. In fact, thank you for that comment and thank you for liking the video as well as subscribing to the channel. Generally, I'll fly with an ND8 or an ND16 as a sacrificial lens cover. Flying through the air, through trees and twigs, crashing, it's easier to replace an ND filter than it is to replace a scratch lens. In the middle of summer, I'll probably fly in an ND32 filter to reduce the amount of harshness and sharpness and jerkiness in the video. I noticed that when I fly the ND64 filters, I slowed down a lot just so I could see those twigs and branches better. Without an ND filter or the ND8 or ND16, I could still see the those branches pretty clearly. Also, as a general rule of thumb, when I shoot video at 4K and 60 frames per second, I'll adjust my shutter speed to be 1 over 120. This is also known as the 180 degree rule. So when I'm shooting at 30 frames per second, I'll adjust my shutter speed to be 1 over 60. So what are your takeaways? I've got four for you. If you've got more, great. I will always fly with the ND8 or ND16 as a sacrificial lens cover. Number two, ND filters to add motion blur. Number three, ND32 filters for harsh sunlight. And number four, 180 degree rule. 60 frames per second, shutter speed will be one over 120. Until next time, YouTube.